Top of the morning collective, top of the morning. Welcome to my channel. This is Rashoon. Welcome home to the Hard Knock Life of Tarot. This is another production of Creative Illuminations. Guys, remember that not only do I do tarot, but I am also a mentor. So guys, if you have experienced any type of spiritual, mental, verbal, physical abuse, I am always here to mentor you, to guide you to safety and to give you the divine knowledge you need to heal from any past life trauma, trauma or any um, uh, present trauma that you may be going through, whether this is uh, spiritually abused or, um, or I mean, sorry, <laughs> Whether this is past life, uh, in current, or in your teenage years. So please, uh, guys, reach out to me to help so I can get the help that you guys need. I am also a life coach and a health coach if you guys need help on certain um, sectors of your life, like um, uh, being more um, attentive to the goals that you need to get achieved. I'm always here to help you, to guide you, and to help you uh, assess and successfully um, fulfill those goals that you are trying to accomplish, as well as health goals as well. So with that being said, that's just giving you a quick breakdown of what Creative Illuminations is. Like I said, the, it, it is a multifaceted business. We do uh, do a lot of things here. Um, I do take donations. They are appreciated. You can uh, read the description box below if you would like to donate to help expand Creative Illuminations. But without further delay, we are now in our tarot part of, uh, of our communication. So we're going to go ahead and get into these readings. But before we get started, guys, I had a dream message. Oh, before we get started, sorry. Remember to take what resonates, disregard the rest. Remember that energies are interchangeable. With that said, being said, feminine energy can be in masculine energy or masculine can also be in be in feminine energy as well. Remember to uh, use discernment uh, throughout this reading so you know what energy best fit for your situation. Remember, if it doesn't apply, it doesn't fly. All right. So with that being said, let's tap into this message. I did have a dream message. That's why I'm up this morning and I'm coming to bring you that dream message. So the dream message was about, um, it was a household. Um, it was, um, it was a, a feminine energy. She had a girl with her. It was actually a Caucasian girl. And I feel like the Caucasian girl was somebody who was looking for trees. So this is somebody who liked to smoke, right? But she was like in the back end of the dream. But I'm not quite sure what's significant. We're going to keep going on in the message to see what, what really is the significant part of the why this other chick was with this other feminine energy. I feel like the other feminine energy could have been a karmic energy is what I'm picking up. But nonetheless, I feel like that whoever this other feminine was that was in my dream, um... She was hanging out with this other female, but the other female was, you know, only around her to find out where she can get some trees from. Whatever the case may be on that situation. But anyway, as I continue to dream, as I'm, you know, going down the dream, there was a particular masculine um, that stayed with this, uh, this feminine energy here. Um, this masculine came towards her and broke up with her. Like he told her that he wasn't interested in her no more. He was ready to move on. Um, I'm picking up like he, he got tired of the situation or he got, he was ready to just, he, it was something about that she lied. That's, that, that's it, that's it. It was something to do with she lied. She didn't tell the truth about something. But he always had an ace and a hold, is what I'm picking up from the dream. So he always had an ace and a hold. He was waiting for her to fuck up. She fucked up and he chose to move on. He had no feelings about it. He just up and left. He packed his stuff and left in the dream. And she was left crying.
It was like she, her friend went downstairs, was waiting on her to finish talking to this masculine. And when the masculine was done talking to this this female energy, they both left. He left with a white chick or somebody who has who was light skinned. So he left you because you lied, because you wasn't being truthful. But I'm picking up that you really care for this masculine, like you tried to plead your case. But this person was not hearing it. He already had his mind made up. And I'm picking up like he had somebody else on the phone. Like there was other females that was he was around or he was surrounding or he was entertaining. It was like he never had time for you. Ain't got no time for that. Yeah. That's that Kevin Gates song. What my heart. Good look finding that. Y'all know that song. Yeah, I'm picking up that Kevin Gates song. So I'm picking up that there could have been a friend, a co-worker, or some type of sibling that could have been in, that could have been in the same household as you guys in this dream. Maybe he left out with this person. Maybe that was the other lover or the other person. I'm not sure because they left out together at the end of the dream. And he left you because he felt like that you didn't have any loyalty towards him. And you was bawling your eyes out. So let's tap into this energy. That's the dream I got 7 o'clock on the screen. So let's go. That's crazy as hell. But we're gonna, we pick, I'm picking up that somebody left you because from that dream, they left you so they could go be with somebody else. But it was because of they couldn't trust you anymore. They felt like that you was a liar. You was a cheat. You was a thief is what I'm picking up. So they chose to go with a different female. It could have been this Caucasian in the dream here. Or a light-skinned chick. So we're going to tap in. Let's go. But before we go, I do have a channel message for you guys from Tupac. So we're going to go ahead and break that song down. Let's go. The song I got is Breathing. And it says, it go like this. Y'all know I'm a Pac fan. You know what I'm saying? But we dissecting the song down. So let's get to it, man. What Pac got to say with breathing? This is for my divine counterparts. Let's go. Stress, but buster free. Enemies give me reason to be the last motherfucker breathing. Bussing. My automatic rounds catch them while they're sleeping. Now I'm the last motherfucker breathing. Yo, that part right there. So... You guys are like on that automatic, uh, spiritual, goddamn uh, hunter right now. So y'all like anybody that's trying to goddamn throw any black black magic, voodoo, hoodoo, whatever the case may be. Y'all got them throwing that shit right back, and y'all got them haunting these motherfuckers in their sleep. You f you feel me? Like they really don't want to play them motherfucking games with these divine counterparts right now. Is what I'm picking up from that line, line right there. Pac say, I'm catching while they sleeping. So motherfuckers trying to play on your temple while you sleep. Motherfuckers trying to goddamn make you feel some type of way or make you try to remember some bullshit. Yeah. Please remember that we goddamn got the last laugh, period, point blank. Let's continue the lyrics. 9-9 nine, nine on the screen. Yeah. It says... Woke up with 50 enemies plotting my death. All 50 seeing visions of me shot in the chest. Couldn't rest. Nah, nigga, I was stressed. Had me creeping around the corners. Homie sleeping in my vest. So you guys didn't trust these motherfuckers you was around. This person who was in this dream, you didn't trust this motherfucker. That motherfucker got them had other enemies plotting on you against you is what I'm picking up. Yeah, let's go ahead and get into this song then. Yeah. You had people that was plotting against you, this masculine, this feminine energy that was plotting against you. You had to feel like you had to sleep with a motherfucking knife under your pillow because you ain't know which way these motherfuckers was going. Let's get into this shit. Shit. 
I'm like a hostage on this troubled block. Call the cops. A thug nigga screaming west side. Busting double glocks. Hitting corners in my Chevy Suburban. Liquor got me swerving. Liquor got me driving up on the curb. Hands on the steering wheel swerving. Come on, man. Let's get into it. Bless me, Father. I'm a sinner. I'm living in hell. Just let me live on the streets. Cause ain't no peace for me in jail. Get, getting worldwide, ex getting worldwide exposure with a bunch of niggas that don't give a fuck riding like they my soldiers. Riding around with a bunch of niggas that act like they my soldiers. These are your fake and phony ass motherfucking friends who don't give two shits about you. Period. Let's continue. Yeah, I'm gonna skip the course and I'm gonna go. Make sure I hold my position, stand firm in the dirt for my soldiers gone. We burning the earth, outlaws worldwide. We pack that block, shooting rocks at the kid. I bust back, I bust back for Pac. Ask Yak, he'll tell you that's hell down here, still down here. Too many jails down here. Why the, why you act like you don't hear me, young noble outlaw? Till these motherfuckers kill me, I'm still breathing. And I'm going to stop right there, y'all. Yo, that's that shit right there. And what Pac say? And what, what the chorus say? Stress. But Buster Free, enemies give me reason to be the last motherfucker breathing. Bust it. My automatic round catch them while they sleeping. Now I'm the last motherfucker breathing. Let them try and test. Because we already coming through. And the ancestors too. To ride on your dome so eloquently. You don't want to come through and trust us. Because please believe we got that trust fuss. <laughs> Let me stop. I'm just making some shit up. But anyway, let's go. We still will got, we'll come back with the click clack. <laughs> One to your dome. Now you see me now, we're gone. Yeah, leaving your street silent. <laughs> street silence, let's go. <laughs> forever flow, forever making with this dough. Let's go. All right, so we up on you. We up, we up, we started, we up, we ready. Yeah, that's a little freestyle. I've been working on my little freestyle or whatever. So, <laughs> pot got me up on one. So we finna bust down this dream, yo. Let's bust down this dream. So I'm gonna start with this 144,000 deck. And see what's going on, y'all. We're going to bust down this dream. Who had this feminine energy crying and who betrayed you? 1222, you protected, though, baby, regardless whatever situation that you was in. <laughs> or what you had to come out of or whatever the case may be. You came back busting on your fucking enemies. Now you the last motherfucking breathing, period, point blank. They thought they was going to they thought they was gonna plot and plan and strategize your motherfucking death. Or they tried to assassinate your character. These was motherfuckers that was riding with you but with some fake ass soldiers. Motherfuckers already had their knife in your back, twisting and turning. Don't give a fuck about you or your feelings or your emotions. These people was using you and abusing you. Let's tap in. Yeah. These were fucking motherfucking evil family members. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. These are hidden secrets that you didn't know that we exposing today. Yes. Yeah. About a motherfucking tarot card reader. Let's go. Yes. You have the gift of courage to keep it moving right though. These motherfuckers third eye was not open. Yeah. They have no divine protection over here, bitch. No, they spell work didn't work. <laughs> it's in reverse, baby. Yeah, and there's judgment day for your enemies, but it was in the reverse. They thought it was judgment day for you. That shit is backfired. Yes, and they were not born to be a legend. No, they are not light workers. No, they work for the evil, for the dead. <laughs> I mean, not for the dead, but they work for, for evil, <laughs> for evilness, for evil, um, Spirits, demonic energies here. They don't work for the fucking dead. Period. <laughs> they work for demonic energies here. Succubus, incubus, vampire ass, narcissistic ass energies here. Yeah, you could be an earth angel here and you have Atlantis bloodline here. Period. That's what I'm picking up. So these people try to be, somebody is a fake ass high priestess here. An evil family member here. Or a high priest that could be a tarot card reader. Yeah. Let's go. Let's get into this message. We're going to get them clarified with these cards. You could be a tarot card reader that know hidden secrets about these uh, evil family members. Yeah. Your third eye is awakening here. You got divine protection. There's judgment for your enemies. 
Period. They did do spell work on you. You are born to be a legend. You are a light worker. Everything they tried to be, they can't be. They tried to be you and they can't be you. Somebody tried to steal your whole fucking goddamn Akashic record here is what I'm picking up. They have no courage here. They're not an earth angel here. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. Let's go. Anyway, we finna tap in. Who is these evil family members? 15, 15 on the screen. We ain't playing no games. We ain't playing no motherfucking games. Evil family members. Who is he? Yeah. Somebody that got a child with somebody here. Somebody got an outside child. An outside Had an outside relationship with somebody here that you know. Yeah. Somebody produced a child here. When you guys was in a relationship, this is an evil family member that he chose to ch uh, have a child with. Or this is a feminine energy that you chose to have a child with. Period. Yeah. You guarded. From this individual, you got your walls up. You will not let this person come near you, period, point blank. Clarify these hidden secrets. Yeah. That motherfucker crying because these hidden secrets is coming out now. I feel like that you, you could have been crying because of these hidden secrets that came out. It hurt you. When you realize what was going on behind your back when your third eye was awakened here. I feel like that you found out whenever you found out this hidden truth here, you awakened. You was awakened. Your third eye was awakened about this child that was produced while you was in a relationship with your masculine or vice versa. Just confirmation. And that's why you're guarded. That shit hurt your heart. It hurt your feelings. You couldn't believe this happened to you. So, yeah. I feel like that this person was someone who had a lot of options here. While he was with you, he was dealing with someone else and got that person pregnant. He could have went towards this person because of their body type. He liked how they looked. Is what I'm picking up. Clarify tarot card reading. Yeah. I feel like he had to make a decision. And, and the decision that he made was to uh, hook up with a slick bitch. He is now realizing that he's in an unhappy marriage or relationship or whatever situation that he chose over you. Yeah. He decided to go uh, to have a fresh start with this person. They could have broke up, got back together. I'm picking up that he chose to have another fresh start with this person. And now he's regretting having this fresh start with this individual. Period. Or you may be regretting or you may not want to have a fresh start with this person because of someone he dealt with from his past. But he wants a fresh start with you. You could be somebody who's watching out on their diet. You could be changing your body here. It can go both ways. You could be someone who who doesn't want this fresh start because of this bullshit ass energy that happened towards you in the past. Or he's in regret that he ever picked this person over you or he gave this person a second chance because this motherfucker did do motherfucking witchcraft on this relationship. Yeah, there's two people who did. Uh, there's two. There could be two individuals here that did uh, magic. On your relationship. That he had to make a decision on. There's two females. One he's unhappily married to. And another one he got on the side here. He's having regretful memories. Or he he's. In regret. That, he's, that, that he dealt with these individuals here. There's two other individuals here. Yeah. And I feel like that you are someone who's changing. For the better. You love your body. You take care of yourself. And this person wants a new start with you. These individuals are going to be shocked that this masculine is coming towards you. If you do choose to be with this masculine, use protection. Yeah. Because these people would like these people like to be in the spotlight. Yeah, you could be in the spotlight. I feel like that you in the spotlight, Divine Feminine. You could be someone that's across seas here. It says, it's not your business... 
if I decide to date outside my race. So this person is saying that you could be from a different race, right? And these people got something to say or fam family members got something to say about who you are. You in the spotlight. So you could be doing something that's very taboo. People got something to say about that. Or you're just very different. And people got something to say. They all eyes on you is what I'm picking up. Um, Is that Tupac um, energy is what I'm picking up. All eyes on me. Yeah, is what I'm picking up. So people have a way of how they looking at you. But it doesn't matter. What the fuck they, how they view you because love is love. If this person want to be with you, he's going to be with you regardless. But they are telling you to use protection because he was dealing with these other individuals here. So basically what the dream is uh, clarifying is there's a masculine that has to make a decision. I feel like this, this masculine is in feminine energy. He, um, he was dealing with a feminine energy, two feminine energies, one that he could be possibly married to now or engaged to now and a side chick. He did have a child outside of your relationship when he was together with you. But I feel like that he's ending these relationships. These two women did use witchcraft to come together to, um, to uh, keep this masculine under a illusion. But I feel like he's breaking out the illusion and he's coming back towards you. Is what I'm picking up. Yeah. 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 He's been crying over you. He's missing you, wanting you. The tears is running down his eyes. Yeah. Because he know he picked this side chick, somebody from across seas over you. So this side chick is the one he possibly have a child here with. And he know he picked that. He know he fucked up when he got that broad pregnant. And he know that's what this is. This child is keeping him away from coming towards you because he don't know how you're going to react when he when he tell you about this child. That he got with this side chick and she could be someone that's Asian, um, Korean, Jamaican, African. She could be somebody from across seas as well. Any more energy? Yeah. I got celebration. Yeah, because he was celebrating with this person who has a criminal background here. The side chick. Yeah. He when he was celebrating is when he got that child here. He doesn't, he didn't want you to know that they were still celebrating behind your back when you left. Yeah, this person had no self-love. Did not care or love for their self. Yeah. He did not want to work it out with you. He wanted to celebrate with that other individual. This says maybe it won't work out, but maybe seeing if it does will be the best adventure. But it's in the reverse. Your person did not have any self-love and was not ready to commit. They was wanting to live a criminal lifestyle here with this criminal mind person here. Yeah, that he got sick from. Now he's in regret and crying that he picked this person over you. Dealing with an unhealthy marriage and a side chick on the side. These hidden secrets are being exposed. So let's get to the next message, guys. Let's go. We tapped all the way in. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm going to get one more deck. And then we're going to end these messages. Y'all let me know if y'all like this message. I did this reading with the dream message. Remember to like, share, subscribe if it um fits your situation thank you for everything that you guys do let's get one more energy in before we close out this reading yes that was this is fucking dope but i feel like like i said divine counterparts whether you're masculine or feminine energy yeah they failed they're a fucking failure period point blank <laughs> With the dirty tactics that they tried to do, it failed. It backfired. Like I said, bust the free enemies. Give me reason to be the last motherfucker breathing. Period. Yeah. You an empath here. What's the next energy? I love it. Yeah. These are people who could have been, uh, you are intuitive. But I'm picking up, this was a tarot card reader who failed or somebody who was very intuitive that thought they was in control of the situation. They failed with this friendship card. This was a fake friend that failed you, that failed this relationship, that failed uh, whatever that they was trying to accomplish, period. Somebody tried to play off like they was an empath. Come on, y'all. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I feel like that you went through growth. You going through growth. 
Yeah, you have accepted things for what they are and you're moving on. Yeah, and they are in fear that you know this knowledge. They fear you. They fear what they can't understand. Yeah, you could be a tarot card reader here. You could be somebody who's very intuitive here. Somebody whose third eye uh, is open like a motherfucker here. You have accepted the things for what they are and you moved on with your life and you have grown. You understand that this was a failure and... And it's nothing you could do about that. That's why you cultivated and you uplifted yourself and you moved on from this situation. They are in fear of you. You could have been in fear in the past too. Yeah. Animals. Animals are always at a are always a high vibration. A at a high vibration. They are not concerned with life details. So hold your cat, dog, talk to your bird or guinea pig, learn from them. If you don't have a pet, then borrow neighbors. I guess they wanted you to know this for any of you guys that have animals. So, but yeah, I feel like that fear. It says, I realize that I am testing my resolve and living the energy of love. I feel like that you had to let go and, let, and release and accept and grow. And be a friend within yourself. And, it, and, let, and let this fear you go is what I'm looking at as well. What's the next energy? Yes. You know, if you can't trust anyone, you could trust yourself. You may have been alone or you may be feeling lonely right now. But remember, you're never alone. Don't You don't have to feel like a failure. You're not a failure, baby. Because you have grown out here. You know exactly what you need to do and where you need to go. You, got, you have guidance now. You have patience. You decided to... to Go within to study yourself, to learn yourself, to become the better version of yourself. They failed you. And now they are in fear of maybe you're not wanting to reconcile with them anymore. Yeah. You're very pride, proud of what you have accomplished. Yes. I feel like that you had to make a decision to leave this energy, these people in the past, and you chose love. You did not trust these people and you had to move on, period. Yeah, so you had to make a change. You realized they kept blaming you for their mistakes and you had to move on, period, point blank. Yeah. Yeah, these people are in denial of who you are, but it doesn't matter because you are living in your purpose. Yes. You are having a good time what you're doing at what, at what you are accomplishing. You are laughing. You're having a, you're looking at a lot of things in life. These karmic relationships are in the past. Yeah. Judgment day for your enemies. Once again, you're having a great time enjoying your life. Maybe they laughed at you before, but guess what? Laughs, all laughs and jokes is on them now because you are the one who is... The one that's laughing to the bank. So guys, those are the messages I have for you. I love you guys. Remember, I send nothing but love and light. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.